Welcome to the lecture on sampling distribution for proportions. In the previous lectures, we have been discussing about techniques to compare means, where we compare two population means or mean against a fixed value or paired means. Now assume that we have a proportion out of 10 individuals per 100 people are smokers in a specific population. Assume that generally the population constant or the population proportion or acceptable proportion is 5 out of 100. This is normal. Now, assume that now the behaviors and other things are not good in this specific population. So that's why we are going to compare this value against this fixed value. Now we have two proportions. One is the standard proportion. And this one is the population of interest. Now we are interested in whether there is a significant difference between this value and this value. So in order to do that, we need to have a sampling distribution plot this specific sample value. Previous examples, if we know the mean, we know how to calculate the sampling standard deviation or the standard error and to make sampling distribution. Let's see how to make the sampling distribution for proportions. Okay, in this example, Think that now there is a population where the population proportion or instead of there in population we have population mean but now we have a proportion where we give the name capital P which is a constant population proportion is 5 per 100 individuals they are smokers in order to make sampling distribution like in the case of mean we are going to take several samples from this one so the sample 1 Sample 2, sample 3, sample 4, and sample 5, 6, 7, and n samples. So we need a large number of samples. We may get a sampling proportion in this one. We will name that p hat 1. p hat is the sample proportion. Capital P is the constant of population value, which is the parameter. So capital P is a parameter. This is a statistic. And for the sample 2, we have p hat 2, p hat 3, P hat 4 and P hat n. Now we have several sample means. What will happen to the distribution of these sample means? These sample proportions. I'll keep these things. Now, if we plot those sample proportions in the distribution, what should be the mean? Mean should be this P1 maybe. We know that the population proportion is 5 out of 100 which is 0 0.05 so p1 if this is a random sample with adequate in size this will be slightly high or low to population mean which is 0 0.05 as so that's a p1 p hat 1 and p hat 2 another p hat another p hat another p hat p hat so all these p hats will be slightly high or low or equal to the population proportions and this will create a normal distribution where this is the sampling distribution for proportion where we can use this sampling distribution for hypothesis testing for proportions we can plot the rejection region here rejection region here okay in our example now we had a population of 10 out of 100 which is 0.1 we can calculate the standard error here standard error here if 0.1 is somewhere in the rejection region we can reject the null hypothesis so we can come into conclusion that this 10 out of 100 is significantly different so that is the basis of testing for proportions now there's a question we know that how to calculate the standard error or the standard deviation of sampling distribution for means but there should be a technique to calculate standard error for the proportions so standard error equals p q divided by n square root so this is the formula for standard error explain that now p what is p p p is the population proportion which is 0 0.05 in our example where we know that the population proportion is 5 per 100 so q is 1 minus p which is equals 1 minus 0 0.05 equals 0.95 so the standard error assume that our sample size n is 100 
So to calculate the standard error, what we have to do is standard error equals PQ divided by N total square root. So this is 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.95 divided by 100. We get the standard error. Once you know the standard error, we know that in sampling distribution, the middle value is 0 0.05 and we will get something like this. And standard error will be the answer for this specific term 0 0.05 into 0 0.95 divided by 100 total square root that is the standard error so the answer for this one will be the standard error i hope you are clear about making the sampling distribution in the next few lectures we will discuss how to compare a proportion p against a fixed value like in the case of me and this is against another p and you must remember that unlike in means there are several tests to compare these proportions we will discuss them one by one i hope you are clear thank you very much